Hi and welcome to the inaugural Jiu Jitsu and MMA video. Tonight we had Rampage and King Mo going at it and a situation came up that we covered in class uh, that uh, I like to teach to have the fighters prevent the guy on the bottom from getting back up and also uh, be able to progress to a uh, three quarter mount. Here we've got King Mo in on a single. He was head inside, he switches to head outside for a dump, dumps Rampage on his back. Initially, he's actually not in a guard. King Mo is, is almost past the side control and he does what I kind of recommend for guys in MMA is to step back into half guard. So see his right leg, step back in on his own, hooks Rampage's leg, and here's the important part. Rampage has already got the underhook on the correct side. He's ready to scoot his leg out, free his leg, stand up, and uh, King Mo defends in the correct way. He's got his own underhook, underhooking the leg of Rampage, which negates Rampage's underhook. He's unable to stand up because, as you'll see, as he tries, he just gets dumped back on his back. Here he is on the side. King Mo flattens him out. And here's what I also like is the knee to knee to knee pressure. See all three knees are in alignment, squeezing, which prevents this leg from being able to be scooted back out. Keep going. King Mo still keeps that underhook. And it prevents Rampage from being able to effectively stand up. Now, it's at this point where I think King Mo could have progressed to the Damian Maya three-quarter mount, pushed down on this knee, or just driven the knee sideways as he drove his own knee over the thigh of Rampage to end up in three-quarter mount. Instead, at about the 11 second mark, he takes his underhook out and starts to use it for punches. Right here, he decides he's gonna pull his arm out, Rampage turns on his side, Rampage has the correct underhook. As soon as King Mo goes to punch, Rampage gets up, loses the position completely, and eats some knees in the process. So in that, I think King Mo did a great job of showing the power of the underhook on the leg and preventing the stand-up. I think he could have just used it to progress to three-quarter mount instead of got greedy, pulled it out, and uh, gone for the punches to the head. Hope you enjoyed it.